this is uh, 45 grams of hibiscus leaf in uh, 400 millimeters of tap water with about 15 grams of, of potassium alum sulfite. And um, if you can see over here, I gotta bring this down a bit. See over here, I have a piece of paper and I have this. And this is a piece of paper, what looks, what looks like, that looks like, like in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna remove the, the glass stopper. I have to move this up a bit. And draw in the solution of the dye and put it on a piece of paper. Put the glass stopper back into the on onto the, the onto the two neck glass funnel. Two neck glass uh, flask. Measure the temperature. 45.5 degrees Celsius. And uh, here I got hibiscus herb flower, non non GMO cut and sift. This is what I'm using, 45 grams of that. This is what it looks like. It's fine, fine, fine tea, tea, or tea leaf. That's been dried. I had to use a, a glass stir rod to get it into the into the into the uh, flask, but it worked. So what happens is, after a period of time, this will make a very good pigment. See, it's already starting to turn blue. The result. result in about fifth, 20 minutes is this color change a nice deep purple blue color which which is the compound I got this from Nana makes uh, her web, her her YouTube website I found out that this stuff if you add if you make it acidic if you make it alkalinic with base, it breaks down and it turns into a brown color. So you have to keep it acidic. This is a quite interesting results for see so you can see what it looks like. And I have this this probe thing of water which I have to fill with more water, but and I have the hot plate set it free, set it one or two, and it's quite hot, it's quite a fish hot plate, so this works very well for what I need it for. Thank you for watching.